Greetings to all, and welcome to another broadcast of Bringing It to the Television. I'm your host for today's broadcast, Stephen Fitzpatrick. Welcome. We at Bringing It to the Television have been getting numerous letters over the past few weeks and months asking us about this newfangled invention that has been taking the nation by storm. I am, of course, referring to the flush toilet. Some of these questions have included, how do I operate a flush toilet? What is the correct procedure for using a flush toilet correctly? And what are the advantages of using a flush toilet over my current system? If you, like the rest of our viewers, have questions like these, then this clip we are about to show should clear up any questions you have about the flush toilet, our misunderstood friend. Thank you. Dang, this bucket sure is hard on my bum bum. Funny there was an easier, more comfortable way of, um, um, taking care of business. There is. Gee, mister, you scared me. What are you doing here? I'm kind of, um, uh... Yes, Timmy, I know, that is why I'm here. Did you know your mommy and daddy recently put in a flush toilet in your home? Yeah, but I don't like that scary looking thing. It scares me. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to use a flush toilet. That way you will not have a sore bum bum anymore. Yeah, and I'll have more privacy. Away from perverts like you. <laughs> yes, perverts like... Hey! <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry, mister. Will you still teach me how to use that flushy thingy? Okay, but only because it is the point of this video. First, we need a change of scenery. There, that's better. Now, Timmy, the first thing we are going to do is go through the parts of a flush toilet. That way, you'll be able to know what I'm talking about later. Here is a diagram to help. No, mister! Yes, Timmy, sometimes the manufacturers can make them a little too complicated. I think we should make them a little bit easier for this video. There you go, champ. A nice, easy, straightforward diagram. Now, Timmy, the first thing you do when you get to a flush toilet is check the bowl for leave-behinds. You never know who might have forgotten to flush. Mister, what's a leave-behind? A leave-behind is the business someone left behind in the bowl when they have forgot to flush or they did not realize that their business needed more than one flush. I see you're a little confused. Look at the diagram and find the bowl of the toilet. Now tell me what you see. Just water, mister. Nothing else. That's good. Then, Timmy, we are good to take care of your business. Good, because I really need to go. Whoa, whoa, Timmy. Not so fast. Unlike your bucket in the field, a toilet has a seat for comfort. Oh, look at your diagram and locate the toilet seat and put it down. You see, Timmy? A lot more comfort than some old bucket. Now for this part, I think we will give Timmy some privacy. Wait, mister. Yes? Um, what about, um, wiping my business afterwards? I usually use... Uh... Yes, I know, Timmy. That stuff is nowhere to be found in here. It is usually found growing outside. You turn over your sheet to the other side, you will find instructions on what you need to use. Timmy, what are you doing? Oh, hi, mister. I'm just going to lift in this toilet thingy outside to empty it. Oh, you see, Timmy? That is the nice thing about the flush toilet. It flushes, so you don't have to empty it. Thankfully, this will be the last part of the lesson. Look at your sheet and locate the handle of the toilet. Then push down and watch your business be taken away. Gee, mister, that's a lot easier. 
easier than carrying the bucket on the back and falling into other people's business. Yes, Timmy. With the flush toilet, everyone's business can be kicked to themselves. Now go, Timmy. Go. Spread the word about the flush toilet. 